we're going fishing. One moment. Rain is the best time to fish. This is what Minecraft has taught me. And Animal Crossing. I can't believe Speaker McDowell's been keeping this premium fishing spot by his house all to himself. Try fishing, yes. Which rod? I only have one. Which bait? Um. Uh... Surely we'll catch something. We got something. A carp. Try an earthworm. See, do we get anything? I want to make sure we have stuff to feed yes. our cats. Get to A salamander. Wind seventh times fifty. Let's go again. Just catching a whole salamander. Oh, and this time it was a cart. Interesting. Okay. Let's go see what we can get at the harbor district. What are you doing over here? Oh, you were the one who hinted where the where Mei Ling was. Fish. Oh, I can use the carp as bait somewhere. Interesting. <sighs> Nothing is biting. Okay, let's try earthworm. Oh, I was not fast enough. Let's try that again. Okay, whatever. No, actually, I'm determined. I lied. We're doing it until I actually get it. I randomly suck at fishing, apparently. There we go. Yes, get to that. An eel. Time seven. Thank you. Okay. Let's go report in. Hello everyone, how goes your investigation of those suspicious addresses? It's all finished actually. We are here to give you our report. Lloyd handed over the copy to change of residence forms with their names corrected. Oh my, you did, you all did a wonderful job. Interesting. Three Calvardians moved into the residential district while a group of Erebonians moved into East Street. As for the downtown district, what's this? Is something wrong? No, not at all. I just wasn't expecting to see Mr. Gable's name here. I have mixed feelings about it, given how often I used to see him in this building before he fell out of favor. It's strange, despite his corruption and everything that happened with the Imperial faction, I just can't bring myself to hate him. I know exactly how you feel. You seem like a more straightforward person than most, at least for better or worse. If only the man were half as wholesome as his taste in literature, Maybe then he'd be better liked. I suppose I can't disagree. In any case, I believe this wraps up your investigation, SSS. The next step is for residential affairs to file the paperwork and sort everything out. Thank you for all your help today. You're welcome. We're always happy to be of service. Please let us know if there's ever anything we can assist with. A sensible ownership completed. Okay, pay me. Oh, dog, hello. Even you're not immune to the rainy day blues, huh, Zykes? I hope you don't mind watching over the building to pass the time. Can I feed the cat one of my new fish? No. 
I guess because it can't hop away while it's inside to go get me um, whatever it is it gives me in this game. As always, we appreciate your hard work. I got bonus points for knowing Mei Ling was from the East uh, Street. Yay us. Okay, so all we have left should be um, the thing at the IBC. Okay. To the IBC then. But first, there's nothing on Station Street, is there? I always forget to come here because there's like nothing here to do. But I guess you never know when a random event will take place. Which is not today. Huh. Dieter's car. Here we are. Let's head to the counter and ask about Chief Robert's request. We should be able to hear the details by speaking with Lanfei. Well, look who it is. Mayor Kreutz and Mario Bell, too. Are you working at the IBC today? That's right. I had a bit of bank business piling up that I couldn't put off any longer. Thankfully, Bell was here for me to lean on. We knocked it out in no time. Hello there, everyone. It feels like ages since I've last seen you all. How have you been, Ellie? I've been well. The SSS resumed activities yesterday, in fact. Let me have a good look at you. Whoa. Belle, please. You're in tip-top shape? So soft, so warm, supple yet muscular to the touch. I could just eat you up. Enough! You're going to give everyone the wrong idea, Belle. By the way, Lloyd, you haven't tried anything uncouth with my dear sweet Ellie, have you? N no? Who do you think I am? A dangerous man, that's what. Don't think for a second that I'll be taking my eyes off you, Lloyd Banning. You know what'll happen if I catch wind of you sullying Ellie's innocence, don't you? Um... You always know how to catch a lady's eyes, Lloyd, or Death Glare, in this case. Honestly, Belle. Come now, Belle. Is this any way to speak to your peers? Take it easy on your, the poor fellow. It's so good to see you again, ladies and gentlemen of the special support section. Above all, it gladdens me that Noelle and Wazy are fitting right in as your newest members. Allow me to take the opportunity to congratulate the SSS on officially returning to active duty. That's kind of you to say. You have my gratitude once again for that letter of recommendation. And thank you very much for the Orville car as well. Getting the honor to sit behind her wheel is a dream come true. Glad to hear it. I do hope that it proves useful to your work. Moments like these make becoming the new mayor all worth it. It's rather stressful balancing time between my mayoral duties and being CEO of the IBC. Well, you have no one to blame for that but yourself, Father. You have a horrible habit of accepting work when you're already drowning in it, leaving me the job of fishing you out. 
I'm sorry, Belle. But when Crossbell's welfare is on the line, I just can't bring myself to go any less than full speed. I don't deny I sometimes bite off more than I can chew, but I'd like to think that I have a tendency to go above and beyond. Grandfather has always admired that about you, Uncle. I've heard him speak often of how direly Crossbell needs young, forward-thinking politicians like yourself. That's high praise coming from someone as seasoned as Speaker McDowell. However, I'm still only a novice in the political arena. There's much for me to learn, especially from someone like him. Ah, yes, Father. Isn't it nearly time for your meeting at City Hall? Oh, I almost forgot. Please excuse us, ladies and gentlemen. You know how it is. Duty calls. No problem. Sorry for stopping you like this when you're so busy. And no, no, not at all. It was good catching up with all of you. If you ever run into trouble at work, don't forget, my doors are always open to the SSS. For you, I promise I'll do everything in my power to help. We appreciate it. Please take care, you two. Oh, Ellie, you're always so sweet. Bye for now, members of the SSS. Until next time. They seem as busy as ever. They must be putting all of their attention on the trade conference at the end of the month. At this point, I'd suspect that their schedules are planned out to the minutes. Well, clearly Orbal car donations aren't the extent of how far they're willing to go out of their way for us. Yeah, the SSS is in their debts. I just hope they're finding time for themselves too. Anyway, let's not forget why we came here. Chief Robert's quest is waiting for us. Right, off to the reception desk. Okay. Good day, Lanfei. Hello again, Miss McDowell, special support section. What brings you here today? We were requested by Chief Roberts of the Epstein Foundation. Ah, I see. I can certainly help you there. Please wait just a moment. This shouldn't take long. Hello there, SSS. Good to see you again, Chief Roberts. You're here about my requests, right? Hold on, just a sec.
sorry about that. I'm like sitting under my ceiling fan and something fell off of it onto my face and I thought it was a bug, but it was actually just a piece of dust because I hate cleaning, but it's something I should apparently do. This is a huge help. I really wanted to make sure I got you in particular for this job. Well, it sounded fun enough to pique our interest. The request said something about user acceptance testing for a new product. I believe it was called Palm Party. The name sounds familiar somehow. Hey, yeah, I feel like Tio's mentioned it once or twice. <laughs> well, you're going to get a kick out of it. Believe you me. So, can you get started right away? Yeah, we're good to go. Would you mind giving us more details on what exactly we'll be doing? I'd love to. The long and short of it is that we plan to release a fun little Orbal game called Pom Pom Party. It's a program that Orbal terminal owners can play with one another via the Orbal network. An Orbal game? How is that any different from, say, a game like Billiards or Poker? Well, it's similar in that you compete for victory and that there are rules to be followed. However, there's one major difference. This is a game played not on a physical surface, but on a terminal screen. Well, technology's really making strides. So when you asked us to assist with testing, what you meant was playing a game? Exactly. I want you to play test Palm Party. Errors often occur during the development cycle, so quality assurance is critical. If this is such an important step, why not have someone from the Foundation take care of it? Good question. Normally, we would be asking Tio for help with this, but that presents a certain problem. Actually, two problems, to be more specific. Problems major enough to lead me to seek help outside the Foundation. What, is she too good at your game? And what would those be? Well, first off, Tio's had a habit of activating her Aeon system from time to time while testing the game. Consequently, whatever data we received from her would always end up skewed. Aeon system? I believe it has something to do with the gear that Tia wears for work. I've heard her give a brief explanation before. If I remember right, it's that she uses it's what she uses while operating orbital terminals and staves. At least I think anyway. I suppose this is a good opportunity to explain things from the top. The Aeon system is the name of the program built into Tio's chest protector. It supports low latency art activation from orbital staves and even enhances her high speed data processing abilities. You can think of those two features as the Aeon system's primary function. But it bears noting that mastering such a complicated system takes considerable aptitude. Right, I can imagine. I have to admit, it's hard to parse these kinds of subjects without her here to elaborate. So what you're saying is that system of hers runs counter to testing procedures. Well, in a way. When Tio uses the Aeon system, she can perform chains that no average player could. She tends to wipe the floor with whoever she's playing. Jonah is the usual victim. He's never won a single game. But I'm not saying Tio is cheating or anything. Please don't tell her I said that. Sure. I don't want to end up as a case of blaming the messenger. So trust me, I'm not saying anything. So uh, that's one reason. What's the other? 
A good question. The other has to do with the fact that this game is what we call competitive multiplayer. Like I said before, it's designed for users to play with each other remotely across the orbital net. With that in mind, I feel it would be best to conduct a practical test with a smaller scope, such as within the city. I think I understand what you're getting at. Though I have to say, playing the same game with someone several districts away sounds incredible. Doesn't it? Believe it or not, projects like this have been in the works since the early days of the Orville Network project. Once the net becomes more widespread, even more people will be able to enjoy the game. For example, you could play it with your friends on a rainy day like this without ever leaving your home. Games on the Orville Network. What a time to be alive. I may have rambled a bit here, but I think that's the gist of it. Alright, it's time. Time for a present for medium. Pom Pom Party Beta. Is this a memory quartz? It sure is. That memory quartz has Palm Party's application data stored on it. Put it in your terminal at the SSS building, and once installation is complete, you can play right away. Installation. That's when you configure program data to operate on a computer, correct? I've seen Tio perform installations before, so I think I can manage. Perfect. We'll let you handle that, Ellie. You are, you're already ahead of the curve. Very encouraging. I should give you these two, my nickname number and Pom Pom Party account ID. Received Chief Roberts' Pom Pom Party account info. Account ID? Am I the only one who's starting to get a little overwhelmed? Basically, it's like a name you use on the Oracle Network. It's sort of required to play the game. You don't have to think about it too much beyond that. So, uh, no need to worry for now. Just input it into the program once you've installed the Palm Party beta. After that, call me on your Enigma and I'll tell you what to do next. That's all. Think you can handle it? Uh, I think so. We'll manage. You got all that, guys. Let's head back to the SSS building and get started. Lead the way. Okay. So question, should I do the nine volley thing before I finish this last urgent quest or does it not matter? Because I want to make sure that I can go back to the library later to meet that reporter guy. It might not even let me do the nine volley thing until I'm finished this quest. Isn't that the last quest? Yeah. But I don't think the nine volley thing is an actual quest. It's just a thing for us to do. I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> 